Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Beyond Whiskey with Perez. It's your boy, Perez. And as you can tell, I'm, I'm a little excited tonight. I'm hiding behind the box. We have, we have the wings, the beautifully crafted box, the beautifully crafted bottle. I'm hoping the beautifully craft, crafted bourbon. In this glass right here. It's the Angels Envy Cask Strength 2022. The 11th iteration of the Cask Strength. And I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm going to move the box out of the way. Is it out of the way now? Awesome. So this is the, like I said, it's the 11th iteration of the Cask Strength. Um... This particular one has a real nice dark amber, almost reddish color. Uh, it's the first time I've opened it. I haven't even tried it yet. We're going to try it together. We the cast strength is a you know, an award winning bourbon by Angels Envy uh, every year. Basically, when they release their cast strength, it, it wins medals. Um, the first time they launched it 11 years ago, they only released 600 bottles. And this time around, they have been slowly upping the count. Uh, this year, they released uh, just over 16,000 bottles, which seems like a lot. But when you realize it's for the entire nation, it's not a lot. Um, good luck finding one. I was fortunate to find one. This year's cash strength comes in at a nice 119.8 proof, 59.9% by volume, alcohol by volume. So tell you what, I had some other stuff I was going to say, but I'm not going to. Let's just get right into it. I, I haven't smelled it yet. I haven't tasted it yet. I want to, let's, let's do this. The nose first. Hmm, well that's so I'm getting something that I don't normally get on a bourbon. I, I get it a lot on Irish whiskeys, but I don't normally get it on a bourbon, and that's uh green apples. I'm getting a lot of apple on this. Lots of ethanol, very alcoholic -y, alcoholic -y, all -y. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. We don't do edits here, just go with it. Behind the apple, I'm getting some brown sugar. Hints, some small hints of vanilla. Lots of, lots of apple. Man, that's interesting. It's like walking through an orchard of apple trees. <laughs> My wife was looking at me funny because she jokingly said that the other day about something that we were drinking. Kind of leathery at the same time. Kind of get like a smell of leather. But oh man. Some, some type of citrus zest almost on the back end, like in, in your nose, like deep back in your nose. All right, listen, I, I don't want to wait anymore. Let's get right into this. Uh, cheers, cilantro, and every other thing you say for, before drinking something. You can tell that's 120 proof from 119.8. That's a kick in the teeth, and it's nice. You get right off the bat, get some pepper. Um, hints of, hints of, so it sound weird because I've never actually tasted leather, but it's kind of leathery, very thick mouthfeel. That's what I mean by that, thick mouthfeel, very viscous. Um, because some of that brown sugar that you get on the nose, I'm not really getting any of the apple that I got on the nose. Like it was very apple forward on the nose, I'm not really getting much of that long finish. 
Um, some of that brown sugar. We're going for a second sip. That's 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 a that's tasty. It is some of the because it's port wine finish, port cara, port cask finish. Uh, they finish this for up to fourteen months in port casks. Definitely getting some of that sweetness from the port casks, um, from the port wine, so to speak. Uh, hints of some of that fruitiness that you might get from a port. Um, in the back end, you kind of getting some of that almost sweet grape that you might get from a port. Um, still no apple that I got on the nose though. That's, I find that very interesting. Very apple on the nose, not so much on the palate. Uh, this is this is this is delicious. Almost like, it was like, almost like a orange zest that I'm getting on that. Uh, some, some, some mild hints of uh, caramel, 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 however you guys say it. Um, this is, yeah, this is fantastic. I'm going to add a little bit of water. I didn't prepare my water thing like I normally do. This is room temperature so it's going to change you know it's not cold or let's see how that switches things up a little bit all right so on the nose that brings out the brown sugar Kind of dilutes the apple. It really brings out the brown sugar and like leather. None of that orange zest now that I was getting a little bit on the palate in the back end. It smells delightful. Let's go back in. Okay, now that really toned down the pepper that you get. But it really brought forward some of that orange zest that I was getting on the back end. Um, it brought forward more of that brown sugar. Uh, some of that caramel is really present now. Very forward tasting. Take another sip. It's very odd. I'm still not getting any of the apple that I was getting on the nose. But a lot, you know, the water reduced the pepper. There's pepper still there. Um, still very viscous. This is this is delightful. I'm glad that I found this and was able to purchase one. Um, if you find one of these, MSRP is about $230. Um Chances of you getting that 230 are probably slim, but you never know. You might. Uh, when this was released, I missed the first day, so I called around some other places. I found a couple of places that had it, and they wanted upwards of 450 bucks for it. Uh, one place wanted it for 450, another place wanted 500. And listen, I understand that. Items like this are sought after. And I understand that there will be a markup. But when you double the price, that's ridiculous. Um, and I understand places do that sometimes to, to really hurt the secondary market. Because if you spend $500 on a bottle like this, you're not really going to get much on the secondary market. I get that. However, someone like me, I'm a collector. 
I want my liquor for me. I want to drink my liquor. Um, I was able to find it for a pretty good price. Uh, nowhere near what some of the other places were, were asking. But a lot, of my, a lot of stores around me were sold out. Um, so if you were to find one at a great price, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Because this is delicious. I was thinking about doing a best that I've had so far this year video before the end of the year. This will probably be going in that. No, this will be going in that. Um, there's no probably about it. This will be going into that video. So let's give it one more sip. Yeah, that is fantastic. It's it's strong. Um, you're going to taste it. You're going to feel the proofage. But there's so much going on. So many different layers of flavors uh, that it is just worth what I spent for it, which was nowhere near what other people were going to pay for it, by the way. Like I said, um, lots of lots of brown sugar, lots of caramel, some pepper, um, a little bit of citrus zest on the back end. It's got a long finish, kind of leathery, very viscous. If you like Angel's Envy, like I do, you're going to love this. This is dynamite, as JJ will say. If you don't know who that is, I'm sorry, I'm old. This is what it is. Go watch Good Times. Uh, so that's it. That's the Angel's Envy cask strength. I'm glad I found a bottle. I'm glad I bought it. Thanks for joining me here on Beyond Whiskey with Perez. Love most of you. I was waiting for you to say the thing. I love the rest of you. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.